All right. It is now Tuesday, February 23rd. Um, that puts it at, puts us at one week away from Battlefield Bad Company 2, two weeks away from Final Fantasy 13. Um, so, I haven't completely decided whether or not I'm going to get Battlefield Bad Company 2 right away, and here's why. Um, on Amazon, when you buy, or when you, like, when you buy, like, a brand new, like, just release game, or, um, or a pre-order one, you get a ten dollar uh, video game credit thing um, on Amazon, which means that um, I could basically get Battlefield Bad Company Two for ten dollars off. If I wanted to do that, but there's kind of two problems with that. One is I wouldn't get it on release day, um, which isn't that much of a concern to me because I'm probably going to be doing mostly multiplayer, but I still would prefer to uh, get it on release day. Unless you pay, pay for a release day shipping and then, A, you don't get it as early as if you just go to the store in the morning and get it. And B, uh, you actually have to, like, pay for that. <laughs> I, I usually just do the free super saver shipping, but if I were to do that, then I probably wouldn't get it till, like, Thursday, Friday, maybe. And at that point, it's like half the time between the release day and Final Fantasy XIII is already gone. Um, <clears throat> so, the second problem with uh, doing that Amazon is... Uh, Lost my train of thought. Shit. Release day and oh yes, it's a video game credit to your next game, so it's not really a ten dollars off. Um, it only lasts like it doesn't last too long. And. I don't remember how long the one for Mass Effect 2 lasted, but I think it was, it was like, uh, expires after like one or two months, and that's kind of a problem because Final Fantasy 13, I'm definitely not getting on Amazon, since I want to get it as early as possible, and, uh, What was I saying? Okay. Oh. And, yeah, there's, like, no other... There's, like, nothing really I would have to spend that $10... $10 off for... Like, there's, there's a few games that I've been watching the prices of. But... I can't really count on any of them to drop in price. Because, like, I look at it as a $10 off of Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, so, it's not, like, extra incentive for me to buy another game. Um, so, I won't actually use it unless another game 
that I've been interested in drops in price, of which there are not too many. There's like Demon's Souls, which is has not dropped in price for like all the time I've been checking on it. I've been checking on the price of that every day for the past like two months. Hasn't dropped in price. Uh so there's only a couple other ones that I was sort of interested in, but not so much that I've put them on my list because I don't really expect them to uh, drop low enough in price that I would want to get them. Um, so, so yeah, if something does drop in price, then. I will be getting Battlefield Bad Company 2 through Amazon late, basically. Um, but the other games, oh, and it, I, I forgot to mention it can't be a, uh, it can't be just a, like, deal of the day thing, because they don't give you the credit or whatever till the till the thing ships cuz like you can cancel your order when it up till when it ships basically so they don't give you the $10 credit thing so if it's just like a deal of the day on a game that I've been interested in then then I still wouldn't get the uh Battlefield Bad Company 2 because I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to use the ten dollar credit for it. So So uh yeah. Hopefully I explained that all clear enough. Um so, yeah, if something has a 